Oh yeah, the wiring is done and I absolutely love that Southern Jet potentiometer just knowing where the reverse bucket is with those lights. That's awesome. Love it. The tachometer is in. Everything's wired. This thing is ready to go. But before I show kind of the progress of the boat as a whole, I'm going to share with you what I've learned, some products that I use. They're literally just Amazon buys, but how I do my wiring in a boat. This actually applies to mini boats. It also applies to the sprint boats. So if you're into any kind of marine wiring or how I do all this kind of stuff, stay tuned and watch the rest of this video. It's not going to be all that long. Here we go. We're going to do some wiring. Alright, so I said that I'm not an electrician and that is no understatement. I absolutely am not. But I have over the years found some pretty good products that I wanted to share and I'm going to put links in the description of this video to all these things. So I think pretty much all of them have come off of Amazon and I'll start out with just my wiring. I use uh, Ancor marine grade wiring and this is just a 16 gauge 100 foot and i have it hanging over there in a bunch of different colors if i'm not uh it says tin copper wire i think if i remember right marine grade wire has more tin in it to help kind of the corrosion anyway so ancor marine grade wire is where i start then this is what i use i don't use i i'm not kind of advanced enough i'll show you these here in a second but i'm not advanced yet to kind of do all these fancy ends on these watertight um, clips but what i do use is there's just a bag i'm going to show you the whole bag of all these little butt connectors they are non-insulated stainless steel high temperature butt connectors and why i use these is one they're stainless steel and then two, they don't have all that crappy insulation around them of the, the cheap ones that you buy at a hardware store. So they're nice and uh, small. And that allows you to put your heat shrink over the entire joint. And then I get the, uh, it's got the adhesive in the heat shrink. And that's how I do that. These are Morris and you can buy a bag. These are probably a hundred also. So these are Morris right off of Amazon as well. And these are, I have these all over the place and i really really like those so that's the step one the ancor wire and the morris butt connectors now here's another thing i do a lot of my stuff um the steering wheel needs to be removable the the trim needs to be removable all that stuff so i use these little connectors again i find these off of amazon i'm not even going to try to pronounce the name because it's chinese it's got to be good stuff right uh I will try to pronounce it uni uni cap it's made in china it's junk but it is watertight they got the the rings around it so these things snap together really really well so anything that got to be removed i use these things and i they come and this is just a two wire i've got them in four wire single and even triple wire so for example the tack i need the, the power the ground and the signal so i used a one of the three prongers or three wire uh, for the tack so that i can pull disconnect that and pull the whole electrical panel out of the boat and get to that so that's number two uh the other other thing is you kind of got to have a variety of your terminals and these are just uh high probably more chinese stuff hystronica hystronica i'll put the the link to those again just these are all ring terminals so i i buy like i'll have a whole bin of these that are just ring terminals and then the spade terminals and then that's about it but these are um the insulated ones and they come with the heat shrink that uh, adhesive line so these things are pretty good. I'm fairly happy with them. And uh, like this, this bin here, this is the smallest one with the smallest diameter for the, for the gauges and stuff like that. I go through a lot of those, but some of them you can refill just those, uh, those certain sizes. Anyway, it's got the heat shrink built around it. It, but it's, it is, uh, it's a rub. I don't know what it is. Rubberized. It's not the hard plasticky stuff, the insulated ones that uh, crack and stuff these. So this is actually heat shrink on there. So, uh, let's pause the video. Actually, well, maybe I'll just keep on rolling if I can. Um, I, I clipped a couple of the, my Ancor wires, um, or one of just one of the, the blue stuff. So I'm going to kind of just talk through how I do this. I, 
obviously these are awesome craftsmen i know there's high high dollars uh wires uh hey pause hold that thought and i'm back with the magic of uh the old air compressor always kicks on so i just stripped these down a little bit i don't know if you're gonna be able to see all this stuff at all so wire strippers that's everybody knows how to do that pretty exciting watching eric do that anyway got both of those done um i'm gonna try to show you i don't know if the, like i said i'm not electrician but when you look at these butt connectors uh you're not gonna be able to see that there these things are not a solid piece it's rolled so there is a seam in there and what i've kind of self-taught myself that when you do the crimping if you put the the male part of the crimper that instead of the female if you will on that seam it mashes it all wonky and it you don't get a uh, you don't get a good crimp on it so i've also noticed that opposite of that on the butt connector there's lettering and i've i've noticed that this is a trend so any of you electricians out there tell me if i'm wrong with this tell me if i'm doing this backwards or not but so this is how i do it let's see if we can show this so that's how i do it where i put the top part uh on the lettering i believe no nope. i put the bottom part on the lettering and then uh be no i'm saying that backwards aren't i no i'm not the lettering goes on the female section and the um hold on for one, I don't have my good glasses on and I can't see jack or squat. Okay, the lettering is the side that I'm going to crimp. So I had that backwards. So the lettering goes on the side that I'm crimped. The open or the seam goes up in the female section. So um, really simple. Obviously just going to put the wiring in there, cramp, crimp it down. And then obviously the other thing, I being the cheap so this what is probably four inches or so of uh, heat shrink. I cut these in half because... I don't need that much. You always, I, I don't know how many times I've forgotten to put the heat shrink over my wire before I do it. But uh, obviously, uh, just for demonstration purposes here, that's not going to be a factor because I'm just doing a, a fake piece of wire. So crimp the other side. Uh, if you can see that, man, it's, man, i getting old and the eyes are going. I need my good glasses. So crimp the other side. So you can see that this is a nice kind of inline, super, super tight. Slide the, uh, the heat shrink over, kind of feel where the middle of it is. And um, I know this is probably overkill. Uh, I don't use uh, my friend, my ch crew chief, Kelly and TJ. They told me, hey, why are you using a heat gun? Just get a flipping torch. I need to get the butane torch, but this is a little overkill. But can I just hit this thing? and moving around a lot it's a lot faster than a heat gun you just got to move it around and make sure you don't get it too hot anyway so that is how eric does my uh, wiring and the sprint boat and all the mini boats it's not as good and pure as if somebody can actually do these pin connectors i'm not at that level yet but I thought I would show everybody how I do that. I have had really good luck with those. It's really uh, low profile because you don't have that big plastic seam in there from the crappy uh, connectors, insulated connectors. Then one other thing is uh, the loom that I use. This, I really like this stuff. Just discovered it uh, about a year or two ago. It's not the plastic uh, kind. This is a, I don't know what it, I mean, it is plastic but it's not like that corrugated kind of stuff. This stuff kind of rolls out really nice. Um, and I'll put the link in the description as well. Again, another Amazon find. This stuff comes in different um, diameters. I believe this is a half inch diameter, but what's cool about it is when you can start getting your wire in there, this thing kind of, it's essentially a variable geometry, if you will, diameter for that. So that's Eric's tips and tricks on boat wiring. That's all I do. Um, these stainless steel butt connectors work really good. I haven't had any um, issues with it at all. And all off of Amazon, if anybody has, I'm kind of in the market for a better set of crimpers slash strippers. Uh, all you electric, I know there's gotta be electricians watching this stuff, but help me out. What do you guys use for crimpers? And am I totally off base with the, the butt connectors? Tell me if I'm doing it wrong. I'll get this video uploaded. Just a quick how to on the wiring. 
because next thing you know, I'm going to get back over there and get the carb ready. This thing is going to be ready to run here, I, honestly, probably tomorrow. So let's get this video done, wrap it up, get it on the uh, YouTube, and we'll get going on this boat. Get it out to Chris, and then we'll get it going on the 907. Just talk to Brad at JRE. The motor is, as of today, it's the sixth in America. It's the seventh in Australia. It is getting picked up by FedEx and it's getting air freighted. You can't, I can't wait to show you the box that he made for this thing. It is flipping awesome. So the 500 cubic inch small block monster is on the way as of today. It's getting picked up and I should have it here in the States by the 13th. I can't wait to show everybody. I can't wait to see it. Brad can't wait for me to see it and see my reaction when I open up that box and I can't wait to even show the box. So thanks for watching. And we'll talk to you here in the next couple days as we make progress on Chris's uh, 400 boat.